sheep, demon sheep, run, run for your lives. Hi guys and welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm Rebecca Felgate and today I am filling in for Charlotte because her voice, if you can believe it, sounds even worse than mine. Why do we have these dodgy voices? Well we've actually just got back from VidCon where we had so much fun meeting some of you guys, it was awesome, yes. In fact it was so much fun that we lost our voices by screaming with enthusiasm the whole weekend so do excuse me. Okay so back to the demon sheep. Get a load of this deformed lamb. In Lady Free in South Africa, inhabitants were shocked and disturbed by the birth of a hellish looking horror. The 4,000 village residents were convinced that either bestiality or witchcraft were at play when the human looking lamb was born. The local vet confirms that the picture taken of the creature was not a fake and that experts had carried out tests to see whether it was part human. While it has been confirmed that the creature has no human DNA, it's also been confirmed that the sheep that birthed it was in infected with a fever. This basically caused the fetal deformation. The virus in question turns out to have been the Rift Valley virus which is caused by mosquito bites. Despite the evidence of the virus, some villagers still believe that witchcraft is at play and are demanding that the lamb be burned. Unfortunately the lamb was stillborn so we will never know how it would have turned out when it grew up. So that is all I have on this story. Now while I agree that the pictures do look freaky, I do think it's incredibly sad that this lamb lost its life. So what do you guys think of this animal? Is it the result of witchcraft or bestiality or is it like the vet said, just a deformed fetus? Is the vet trying to cover things up? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Inform Overload, I'm Rebecca Felgate. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, share it with a friend and stay subscribed for more news videos. Also pray for my voice, thanks. See you next time.